Welcome back to the Cudlow Report. I'm Larry Cudlow. We continue our discussion about the historic showdown over Obamacare. The focus of tomorrow's hearings will be the all-important health care mandate. And yes, the fate of our economy hangs in the balance. Let's bring in our guests. Here now we welcome Alan Miller, President and CEO of Universal Health Services, one of the largest hospital management companies in the world. And we welcome back Senator Ron Johnson, Republican from Wisconsin, who was inside the courtroom for today. Today's SCOTUS hearings. Mr. Miller, with all great respect, sir, you know, I regard this Obamacare as uh, doing violence to personal freedom, and I worry about the tax and regulatory burden on the economy. I know you favor it, sir. Please tell me why. Uh, I don't favor the, all of it, but uh, we're talking about the mandate and where we have 32 million Americans who will have coverage out of the 50 that are uninsured, that's helpful for the providers. That's the provision that I think makes sense for us. Well, just let me clarify, you, you, you just want that narrow slice, can that be done without the mandate? You have the preconditioned illnesses problem, all right, that's expensive for your emergency rooms, but is there a way to do that with constitutional limits? without damaging the entire economy. I'm not a constitutional lawyer. I'd like to see the mandate passed, and I don't think uh, that it works if the mandate doesn't pass, because as you point out, pre-existing conditions, uh, it doesn't work if you have people that can come in when they're ill and get insurance, unless you have a large pool, and that mandate gives a large pool to the uh, whole country. All right, Senator Johnson, uh, among your many distinguished uh, features, yes, you were in the courtroom today. You're also in business, the CEO of your own large company. What's your reaction to Mr. Miller? Well, I, I understand his narrow special interest, but Larry, you're right. This is an issue of fundamental freedom. And, you know, w when I was preparing to, to attend the hearing today, as in, in my briefing material, you take a look at the, the actual precedent that this is all based on, Wickard versus, versus Filburn, and it's, it's about forcing a wheat farmer, basically not allowing him to grow wheat to feed his family and his chickens and his, and his cattle. And that's what we're talking about. This will be the first time in, in our history where the federal government will force individuals to engage in commerce so they can regulate that commerce. It is a huge assault on our freedom. That's what Obamacare is all about. This law must be ruled unconstitutional. See, Mr. Miller, that's the thing. Um, I understand your narrow. <laughs> I, I'm not for the. I'm not for the assault on freedom. Right. But but, but the issue is the issue is that the legislators make the rules. We have to live by them, and we are not paid what we should be paid for Medicare. We get 93 cents on a dollar of cost. We get 84, 85 cents on a dollar of cost for Medicaid, and uh, you can't exist that way. And so this is something that could be helpful. If it goes down, I wrote a book which talked about other things that could be done to, to help the system along. The system has got to be changed. Larry, here's the problem is if, if this Obamacare law gets passed, if it gets, or if, if it gets implemented, $529 billion is going to be removed from Medicare, which is payment to providers. And so we're going to even be in a worse situation than what Mr. Miller is experiencing right now. And trust me, I'm very sympathetic with what Mr. Miller has to deal with, but this is going to make the situation far worse. You know, in, some, in some states and districts, currently, only 60% of providers actually see Medicaid patients, and now we're going to be dumping 25 million more people into that limited pool of suppliers. Basically, what Obamacare does right. is it limits the supply and increases the demand. I mean, that's a. That I, is a I don't quarrel with what the senator's saying. I agree with him. But we don't make the rules. We have to live with them. We got 2,700 pages of Obamacare, and we're trying to figure out how in the world we can deal with it. But Mr. Well, Miller, and, and, and 12,300 more rules and regulations to date. I agree with you. But we don't make the rules. We don't have a vote. You do, and your associates do. So uh, I'm happy to see this thing get fixed. Uh, th that's one way is to increase the access. But there's a lot of other things that have to get done, and I'd like to see that happen. Senator well, Johnson, the, the, isn't there a better way to do this? Can't we put more free choice in competition? Couldn't we put tax advantages into the individuals instead of the businesses? Couldn't we promote a really free market system where actually the private sector is the dispersing agent, not the central planners and government? Yeah, to, to me, Larry, the root cause is that we separated the consumer of the product 
from the payment of the product back in the, back in the mid 40s, quite honestly. And so we've taken the free market out of the healthcare system. We should be expanding HSAs. We should actually have tort reform, which would help save uh, hundreds of billions uh, of dollars. Uh, those we've types been talking things. about that. We've been talking about that for years. Absolutely agree. I, I, I know I'm new here. I haven't, had, I haven't <laughs> had that effect on it, but that's what we need to do. Absolutely, I agree with that. Well, the whole system needs a redo because you have these units that people are paid for, fee for service. The more units you have, the more pay goes out, and that doesn't work. So I applaud the Affordable Care uh, now, Accountable Organizations. That would make a lot of sense to me, too. We need to get government out of health care as much as possible, bring the free market back in, Larry. All That's right, we're going to have to leave it there, gentlemen. Yeah. I appreciate it very much. Senator Ron Johnson, as always. Nice me on. Alan Miller. Thank you for helping us out. I just believe, sir, there is a better way an American can come up with it. All right.